I have never been a particular fan of storing passwords in a browser, but I know that there's a lot of people that do. So to accommodate you and to help you secure your browser, at least as far as you possibly can, let's have a look at Google Chrome in this video. Let's click on the three little dots at the top right hand corner. We'll go into settings, passwords, and as you can see, I have no passwords in my list. But you'll also notice something that a lot of people keep looking for is the option to import passwords. It used to be right here. If you click on the three dots again, go into bookmarks, you have the option to import bookmarks and settings. Here you can choose your browser that you want to import from. In this case, we're just going to choose the passwords and let's import it. But there is something you got to keep in mind here. If we have a look at my passwords, there is still nothing imported. Because if you had a look at my last video on how to secure Chrome, I implemented what is called a primary password. It used to be called a master password. So let's quickly open up Mozilla Firefox. We'll go into our passwords, and there you can see it prompts you for the master password or the primary password. Once you have signed into your passwords here, we can now export all of these passwords. And again, just keep in mind that once you export these passwords, they are in a CSV format, which anybody can read. So we'll just save this for now to get back to our next point here. If I go into um, Mozilla Firefox, go down to privacy and security, and I remove this master password. Okay, so the master password has been removed. Hop back over into Google Chrome. Let's just close it and reopen it so that it's refreshed again. Now we'll go into the bookmarks, import bookmarks and settings. No changes on this screen. We'll leave it exactly as it was before when it didn't work. Go import. Let's just close Firefox as well. Now there are our passwords. This is why it's so critical if you're using Firefox to implement that primary password so that nobody can install another browser, import all your passwords, and then walk away with it. So let's just remove these for now. I'm just going to hop back into Mozilla Firefox quickly. Settings, privacy and security, drop down to using a pa primary password. And you notice because I have a login password on my computer, which is another vital aspect, make sure you put a login password, even if it's a home computer. So in this case, type in that password. Now I'm going to implement my primary password in Mozilla Firefox. That helps secure my passwords there. OK, let's close Firefox down. Notice I have this CSV file here. I still cannot import it into Google Chrome. If you click on bookmarks, import bookmarks and settings, when you scroll down here, there's no option for a CSV file. So how do we get around that? Well, there is another option that you can do. It's a little what I would call an undocumented feature, so to speak. Click on start, go into your run command, type Google, and then what you want to do is type the following command, dash or minus minus enable dash features equals password import. Now this feature will only work for this session of Google Chrome. So if Google Chrome opens, oops, sorry, not Google, chrome.exe. It will only enable this feature for this session. The moment I close down Google Chrome, that feature has been disabled again. Now, if I click on these three dots, I go into my settings, passwords. Notice now these three dots here. There's the import option. And if I click on import now, it gives me the option for a CSV file. So I can browse to my desktop. And there we go. Now I've imported the CSV files from that I had previously exported in Mozilla Firefox. So that's just something in case you want to import a CSV file into Google Chrome because they removed that feature quite a while back. Google has now implemented another feature, which is the Google Password uh, Vault, so to speak. What it is, is it allows you to store your passwords in your account online. Is it secure? Only if you have two-factor authentication enabled on your account, which I always recommend for every possible service that you use or website that you use. If they support two-factor authentication, enable it. So right here, you can view and manage safe passwords in your Google account. When you click on that, it takes you to passwords.google.com. 
Because this is just a test computer, I don't have a Google account. But once you sign in, all of your passwords will appear there. But just make sure once you've put them into the Google Password Vault, you remove them from Google itself, the actual browser here, because you don't want them available on your regular browser. If you have a look, one of the things, you can click on this I here, and you notice it's asking me for my login password. And that's why I keep emphasizing, make sure you have a login password. What happens if we don't? Let's have a look. I'm just gonna quickly remove that password. Okay, so right now my account has no password. Now if I click on that I, there you go. I can see the passwords very clearly, which is why, please make sure you put that password on your account. So again, just right here, we didn't have a password. I'm just gonna add a password quickly to my account. Alrighty, so now if I click on these, Let's just close that down and reopen it to refresh the session. Settings, passwords. See, now it prompts me for my login password. It is absolutely vital that you secure your computer as far as possible. Because the other thing is, what is also a real problem is where Google stores its passwords. Every browser stores it in a particular uh, location. And that location can be compromised. So in this case, our passwords, actually I'll show you the quickest way to find out where your passwords are saved. In the Google window, just type Chrome colon backslash backslash version. You'll see here, it gives you the particular version that you're currently running, but it also gives you your profile path. So right here is your profile path, which is why a lot of people haven't been able to find where the particular password files are because previous versions, that profile path was always in one specific spot, but it can change depending on your profile. So if we copy that profile path and we'll paste it in here, there's the actual profile data that we have on this particular computer. Let me just close Google Chrome down in the background. And if you go through here, you'll notice this is where Chrome stores all of its information. Okay, this particular file right here, login data, that is actually your password account. So let's just remove it from here and we'll just paste it on the desktop for the time being. Let's go back into Google Chrome now, click on the three dots, go into settings, passwords, and you notice there's no passwords on the computer. So what a hacker can do is if he connects in the background, even though he's not running anything on your computer, he can grab this particular file, take it away, and import it into his own computer. Easy way to do that, we'll just do the reverse. We'll cut that off of the desktop. Whatever profile you're currently in, we'll paste it in there and replace whatever we have. Open up Google Chrome, go into settings, passwords, and there we have all the passwords. So again, that's why I say, when it comes to passwords in a browser, don't save them on your computer because it can be compromised one way or another. So take as many steps as you can to actually harden your computer against hackers. All of these options are so easy once you know how. And I've shown a lot of clients this, how I can get into their bank accounts. It takes me literally less than five seconds and I can be into their bank accounts. Unique passwords, don't save them in your browser. Use a password manager such as LastPass. There are other ones out there, but I personally use LastPass and help secure your own information. Anyway, folks, hope this video has been informative. If it has, please do take a moment just to give us a like in the bottom. And until next time, take care and stay safe out there. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.